Okay, so I am going to go inside of the Zooks vehicle for the first time. That's the vibe. Sound is pretty great. Oh, Zooks! Zooks! What is it? So Zooks is an autonomous vehicle operating as a robo taxi. So basically, you would download the Zooks app. You would tell us where you want to go. We pick you up, drop you off, and we handle everything in between. So we've designed and assembled the vehicle. We've also designed and we maintain the AI stack and we provide the service. So how does this compare to like Waymo, for example? So we are we've been purpose built from the very beginning, and so we our main goal, our main priority is moving people. So we decided, let's build a vehicle that can move people in dense urban environments. So this vehicle right here, it has carriage style seating for up to four adult passengers. We're able to maneuver into very tight side parking. Uh, we also have four wheel steering on each uh, wheel and then we're also able to be bi-directional. So we never have to make a U-turn. We never have to do a three point turn. We're able to just pull out and go the opposite way. Oh wow. <laughs> Sort of a feels looks small from the outside, right? But then feels very yeah, really nice. yeah. It oh, looks smaller look on the outside yeah. for sure. Yeah. And so, but this thing can go up to seventy-five miles per hour. In both directions. Yeah. Always <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Yeah, we can go on highways, in both directions. But not at the same time. Yeah. Or at least more than half. That but. feels a little scary <laughs> at this time to, to be in here at 75 miles an hour. Uh, so we can do hours. the music. Go back, charge pretty quickly, and then go back. Turn it up. So 60. Whoa. <laughs> Does it always rattle? Not usually. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Because of the wire. Okay, and you can adjust the temperature. That's good. You can, yeah, temperature here, sound here. Got your maps system. Okay, cool. Pull over. All the all the good wow. stuff. Contact support. You can charge the phone. A wireless charging pad, yeah. yeah. And a couple other. And then there's a USB-C charger wow. as well. If you want to charge other devices. So how can you keep this like private to yourself if you just wanted to be in it alone and have a ride? Yeah, you can you can uh, book it as a private ride. Okay. And, um, Probably a little more expensive. Um, I think that's the base the base fare basically. Okay. Um, you gotta have it for, for, for yourself with your friends or family. Or just by yourself entirely. Uh, yeah. Cool. It's like a ride share. Pull on your app. I'm here. I want to go there. Yeah. yeah Very cool. Way. The cool thing about the, the symmetry of the vehicle is that um, A, it's, it maneuvers a lot better than a, a vehicle that can do that, so we can get out of certain uh, ride scenarios much easier. We don't have to do three-point turns. So this has been in the works for like 10 years or so? Uh, yes, exactly. Um, we, you know, we had the vision already uh, well, more than 10 years ago, but um, I got involved about 10 years ago. So we, we started uh, developing the vehicle really from the ground up. There was you know, a lot of people told us it's not possible, but we did it anyways. And today, uh, we already went through all the, the concept work, we, you know, all the prototypes, and we're basically in a pre-production phase and soon to be hitting the road. Wow, that must be exciting after developing this for about a decade. Yeah. Um, so I cover a lot of Tesla news full time and obviously they're trying to solve full self-driving and autonomous driving. Right. How would you say you, you, you are similar to Tesla? How are you different in the way that you've been able to solve this challenge? I don't know exactly about Tesla themselves, but I know that we, you know, we are testing on public roads right now. We are out there, we're driving. And um, actually, later this year, uh, we're gonna be driving around uh, Vegas here and people are gonna go on their first rides. So yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting. So we're, we're definitely getting there. Awesome, I hope that we get to be one of the first. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can actually uh, sign up if you want to. We have a, a early bird wait list that you cool. can join. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get notified once it's available. Awesome. Yeah. So that Love video have you on. will be next. <laughs> and so why would I wanna take this over like an Uber? Well, this gives you a few different options. Let's say it's you and three other people. Rather than having one person sit in the front and then trying to hold a conversation or anything with those people in the back seat, you're able to do everything, looking at each other, be more communal. It's very cool like that. Is it cheaper? 
it should be a little bit cheaper. And when is this going to be on the roads? So it's actually currently operating in Foster City, California, and then here in Las Vegas. But this year, in 2024, we will offer our first rides to the public. And why does our future need this? We're all about the future here at CES. Yes, well, we need it because people need other options of how to get around cities. There's some people who don't drive, who can't drive, um, and so they need to be able to get around. Traffic is also not pleasant for any of us, no matter what you drive. So even if you're a hobbyist driver and you have a really cool Ferrari or something like that, we'll let you do that on the weekends or we'll let you do that outside of the city. We'll handle the city driving. Okay, this is gonna, I think, freak out a lot of maybe, you know, people in the elderly generation, driverless cars. So how do I feel safe in this? Well, you can feel safe because we've self-certified this vehicle to the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, which means that just like every other vehicle for sale here in the U.S., we have decided that we meet the same standards, and that's one thing. Then two, we also have done like full crash testing, and then most importantly, our ethos is no surprises, and then small, medium, and large. So. No surprises is we're working with local governments and state governments to say, hey, we're coming and like, how would you like us to show up in your community? And then in terms of the small, medium and large, we're doing one vehicle at a time. We're doing one area at a time. Mm -hmm. And you won't just overnight see 100,000 six vehicles. So are they kind of geofenced uh, in, in the areas you're testing yeah. out? So we will map a particular area, right. we'll test and we'll validate that with our test fleet before ever releasing the robo taxi. What's the max speed and what's the range? The max speed is up to 75 miles per hour so that we're able to do highway driving. And the range, we look at that more in terms of a service day. So with rideshare, you want about 16 hour uh, service day in terms of continuous short trip rides between one and three miles. So I'm guessing this comes back to wherever its hub is and someone has to charge it yes. and then it goes out the next day? Yeah, and we would do all of the charging, we do all of the maintenance, clean it, make sure you have a nice fresh vehicle. Great. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it.